Hey growers, it's Steven from Team Grovo. You know, I grow a lot of stuff, not just cannabis. And one of the passions I have is hot sauce. I've gotten into the super hots more recently. Back in April, I put some of these down. The Carolina Reaper, the two million Scoville monster. It's now November and this beautiful guy has been moved inside because it's too cold outside. And now I've faced with this. Join me in this video as I show you how I germinated these seeds, grew them over the summer on my back patio, and now brought it inside so we can harvest these beautiful pods. Should we make some hot sauce? Should I eat this by the end of the video? Please say no. Because I work in the cannabis or grow industry, I get access to some neat stuff. Kind of like this styrofoam that holds up all these cocoa pods. I've soaked each one of these cocoa pods underwater um, in pH water, but with no EC in it. And I've given each one a quick squeeze to eliminate some of that extra water from it before putting them all back into place. I use these styrofoam holders uh, and it keeps them nice and snug in these humidity domes. Next, I select the seed that I wanna grow outside this year. You can see I grew some mini watermelons or sour gherkins, along with some cinnamon basil amongst all of my pepper seeds. It's really important to label your cocoa pods to ensure that you know what you've planted and where. I'm reusing some old plant sticks, so uh, the tape comes in handy for giving them a fresh start and letting me write on them again. Okay, the seeds are selected, the pods are prepped, and the labels are labelified. Now we can open up these packs and get them rolling. It's important not to get any extra oil or contamination on the seed. So I try hard to tap them into the cocoa pod and I use a little stick tool to assist myself. Okay, the stick tool is on martini olive skewer. You caught me. You'll see that I have one cocoa pod that I take little bits from uh, to put into the opening after the seed's gone inside. I want the seed to have contact with the moist cocoa pod on all four sides. Once they have the humidity dome on, the wait begins. Pepper seeds can take three to four weeks before seeing anything happen. In this case, my beans popped first. Once the peppers, get, uh, peppers begin sprouting, like these little pepperoncinis, I transplant them into a small container with good drainage and highly porous soil. I water a couple times a week. I use a pressurized spray can with pH balanced water and very low newts. Eventually these peppers made their way into a, a raised bed outside and a couple of different pots. I watered them if it didn't rain and these beauties started to arrive. Look at these beautiful jalapenos and Italian pepperoncinis that are st uh, starting to ripen. These spicy devils are golden habaneros that pack quite a kick. Here's the bubblegum pink jammy plant and one of its peppers. Coolest thing about this super hot is that the, it has a bleeding calyx. See how the top green part or the cap has orange bleeding into it? It's a great warning for sure sign of its hidden heat. Finally, we can see these reaper pods slowly ripen over the course of a week. I had to take them indoors because it was getting too cold outside. A couple of the pods are still green but it's time to play with these ones that are ripe already. So I hope you've had success and I hope you have a ton of pepper pods now that you have to deal with. But now what? They only last fresh pod for a couple weeks. What I do is I dehydrate mine. These are some of those peach jammy, bubblegum jammies that I grew uh, and I've run these through the dehydrator. Another thing you can do is you can grind them down. So this is a mortar and pestle and in here I've got a jalapeno. They have a very thick skin, so they take a little bit longer to grind down. And do be careful as you work this mortar and pestle, that dust will come up and get in your eyes and your nose in a heartbeat. Another thing you can make is a hot sauce. So this is a hot sauce that I made. It's a jalapeno hot sauce with sage and smoked garlic. This hot sauce is again with the super hot bubblegum peach jammy. This has got some strawberries and some mangoes in it. So it's like a super hot sweet. And the final one that I did, you can check out, is a cowboy candy. This is jalapenos, pepperoncinis, salt, and a lot of pepper. Great on hot dogs. So thanks for joining me for this hot pepper grow episode. 
Hope you had luck with your pods. And uh, don't forget to smash that like button. If I get a thousand likes on this video, I'll go ahead and eat a whole Carolina Reaper for you. So, so I got that going for me, which is nice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and sign up for notifications by hitting that bell. You'll see what's coming up next week.